Now it's a dream come true for one steam train enthusiast. For the first time ever, a volunteer train driver has taken a passenger train out onto the main rail network. It's taken years of planning and as a result there'll be a regular steam service running in one part of North Yorkshire. The age of steam is something that's always captured the imagination and every year thousands of people visit the many heritage railways for a trip down memory lane or to see the lifestyle of yesteryear. One of the most popular is the line between Pickering and Gromont. It's played host to some of the most famous engines in history. It also runs through some beautiful countryside. Dave Gatland has the sort of job here that many little boys used to dream of. And this week he made history. He was on the footplate when the first service went beyond Gromont, out onto the main line, to the seaside town of Whitby. So, was he nervous? No, no. But I think my management team sitting on the coaches, they're quite nervous. Uh, the uh, days of nerves, and it's not nerves, it, it's perhaps apprehension, is the first day of training when you go out. If the train stands in the station for more than four minutes, yep. the level crossing times out. And the training has been intensive. Whereas London taxi drivers have to learn the knowledge, Dave has had to learn every twist and turn on his new run. And these drivers will be as competent as the drivers on network rail because they're, they're dedicated, they love the job that they're doing and they're doing it in their spare time. They want to come and work on the railway. And so the first arrival direct from Pickering for 42 years received a warm welcome. Dave Gatland and a handful of other volunteer drivers will continue the service throughout the spring and summer and there are hopes it will bring more visitors to this corner of North Yorkshire. Danny Savage, BBC News, Whitby.